I've been ordered to take you men with me. I'm told that, uh, <laughs> that if you don't come, I can shoot you. Well, you know I won't do that. Maybe somebody else will, but I won't. So, that's that. You know who we are, what we're doing here, but if you're gonna fight alongside us, there's a few things I want you to know. All of us volunteered to fight for the Union, just as you did. Some came mainly because we were bored at home. Thought this looked like it might be fun. Some came because we were ashamed not to. Many of us came because it was the right thing to do. This is a different kind of army. If you look back through history, you will see men fighting for pay, for women, for some other kind of loot. They fight for land, power. Because a king leads them, or, or just because they like killing. But we are here for something new. This has not happened much in the history of the world. We are an army out to set other men free. What do you think? About what? About the second Maine boys. What else? Oh, are, there, are any of them going to join us? Would you believe it? Oh, but six. What? I counted by actual vote. 114 of them voted to pick up the rifle. Well, I'll be. You did good, brother. You did real good. I found me a John Henry, sir. A John who? A John Henry, sir. A runaway. I heard him a groaning. All right, man, as you were. Surgeon, see to him. Of course, I haven't known that many freed men, but those I knew in, uh, in Bangor, Portland. You look in the eye, there was a man. What a piece of work is man. How infinite in faculties, in form and moving. How express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. Well, if he's an angel, all right then. But he damn well must be a killer angel. Colonel, darling, you're a lovely man. You're an idealist. Praise be. Tom? Yes, sir. Yes. Another one a bit closer. It could be a hot day for Mother. I want you to go back to the rear, watch out for stragglers, and keep your distance from me. Lawrence, I, I don't... I... You are the extreme left of the Union Army. Understood? The line runs all the way from here back to Cemetery Hill. But it ends here. Understood. You cannot withdraw under any condition. If you go, this line will be flanked. If you go... The enemy will sweep up over the hillside and take this entire army from the rear. You must defend this place to the last. Yes, sir. Now we'll see how professors fight. Pull out. No, we can't do that. We can't hold them again, sir. You know that. Well, if we don't, they go on by and over the hill, and the whole flank caves in. Here they come. We can't run away. And if we stay here, we can't shoot. So let's fix bayonets. Ellis, you take the left wing, I'll take the right. I want a right wheel forward of the whole regiment. What, you mean charge? Yes, but here's what we do. We're going to charge swinging down the hill. Just like we pulled back to this left side of the regiment, now we're going to swing it down. We swing like a door. We're gonna sweep them down the hill just as they come up. 
Understand? Does everybody understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, Ellis, you take the left wing, and when I give the command, I want the whole regiment to go forward, swinging down to the right. All right, sir. Fine. Move. Hey, I'm not! Left wing, right wheel. Right wheel! Charge. Go up to the top of the big hill. My New Yorkers will take over your prisoners. Yes, sir. Colonel, we watch from our position above. It's the damnedest thing I ever saw. May I? May I shake your hand, sir? <clears throat> uh, Colonel, one thing. The uh, uh, name of this place is Hill. This is Little Round Top. That's the name of the hill you defended. Yes, well, I guess I'll remember that. <laughs> 